Hi, everyone. So I'm joined here with Sandra. Sandra is our course coordinator for our medical office administrator course. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to talk briefly through uh, the course and looking at, at career options as well. So Sandra, just to start us off, this course, what, what, can you just give us a general overview of what the course entails? Yeah, perfect, John. So as well, again, there's there is practical elements and there's theory kind of elements to a lot of the modules. So I suppose I might just give you a brief outline of maybe the subjects that are involved. So again, I suppose you start off maybe with the, the medical side of it. So you have your anatomy and you have your medical terminology. You will also have bookkeeping, payroll, work experience, communications. And then I suppose you look at like the likes of Word, um, spreadsheets, uh, audio transcription, um, text production. And I suppose an extra thing that we have as well with our medical um, course here is we also do um, Socrates package, which is um, used in the vast majority of doctor surgeries. So again, it kind of just it sets our students up, I suppose, for the working world of going into the medical sector. Excellent. So that, as you said, there, there's, a, there's a broad spread of modules, so we have the medical side of it, but also you have the core administration roles that you would do. So I think this is a very good course because you're getting the medical side of it, but you're also open to, to working in any sort of administration role. And in today's world, people need the bookkeeping, they need the payroll, they need marketing. So I think it's, it's a very good course. And as you said, then we have the extra Socrates package, which is a, an extra add on as well. It is, yeah. Uh, it's an all-round kind of course and as you said there while i suppose it is geared towards the medical side again sometimes students might figure out depending on either job opportunities or during the year that maybe the medical side isn't for them but you still have the whole office administration so, so it's just the extra modules so it's just keeping your options open really excellent and i suppose just in terms of the, the students then what like who, the course is open to everyone really like isn't it it's it from is. students to younger learners you know so it's, it's we, we, we like in the past what would be your experience and, and the learners that come on the course i suppose like what you said there, there there's a variety of students you have maybe the student that has maybe some might have worked maybe kind of in um, in pharmacies and things like that before i suppose um at the counter and that and realize maybe the medical side is the way to go others might be coming back upskilling others are diversifying completely um, we have other students who maybe now that their their own kids have kind of gone on to school that they're kind of thinking about themselves going back into the working world, haven't maybe been in formal education for for a few years, and I suppose they're just kind of looking to see what is the kind of course for them. So again, that this would set them up for that. And I suppose for anyone that has been away from education for a long while, like we we don't we don't go hundred uh, percent, you know, really quick into the course. Uh, it's semesterized as well, so yes. that helps. You know, you're not focusing on eight modules starting off. You're starting with four, so we ease people into it. And obviously, look, we're here to support people along the way. So that, I think that's a big thing here, Sandra, with semesterization. We kind of absolutely ease into the whole thing. Yeah, and as you said there, and it's like like the fact of if it was somebody who hasn't been in education for a while, or just the the bit of fear kind of of getting back into things like i think the four subjects kind of before christmas and your four afterwards makes it somewhat easier for everybody and then at least i said once you kind of get over the first few or once you get over your first assignment which is a big hurdle for a lot you know when they haven't done it in a while it's a big achievement and then once you kind of realize you have the four done the other four hopefully will come kind of easier to them yeah no that's excellent so just moving on into work experience. So all courses here are QQI and there's a work experience element. So on this particular course, they have to do two weeks of work experience, basically 60 hours. So yes. in the past, where would have, where have students gone for this sort of work experience? Yeah, so um, I suppose, again, as we had said earlier, it can either be the medical side or you might only get kind of office kind of work, depending on um, some doctor surgery mightn't let you in there. But we have some people who have gone to medical practices. Um, we've also had some people going to hospitals as well and some people who might just go the, the general office route. But we've had a variety kind of, of places. And I do think the, the two weeks work experience are invaluable to students because, again, you kind of get to see like we can set them up for as much as we can within the classroom, but I suppose getting out into the working world to see, um, do they like it? What is it like? And I suppose bringing all the skills and experience that they've learned here in the college out to the working world is, is brilliant. And then we have students who, after the two weeks work experience, um, might try and gain employment in that said place once they've finished here with us in May. Yes, no, so there's excellent opportunities. And I suppose, Work experience as well kind of gives you an appetite if you actually like like the industry that you're you're hoping to go into. Um, Absolutely, yeah. 
So just in terms of the college calendar, so here our courses follow the school calendar, really, with the academic year. So from September to May and the normal breaks in terms of midterms, uh, Christmas and Easter. So we follow exactly the same thing. Um, so in terms of career progressions, we kind of touched it there, Sandra, there's different routes. They, you know, you have the medical route or the general administration route. So what would you say to someone that's, you know, doing this course? Where, where could they end up afterwards? Yeah, so like always said, I suppose you could have somebody, you could go down the medical route. So whether it is into doctor surgeries um, or into medical centers or hospitals, or again, as I said, some people might go on the lines of just keeping it the general office um, admin kind of work. And then we also have students who will either then um, maybe stay with us and do a level six as well, just to advance, I suppose, again, kind of yeah. their knowledge and that, that they realize maybe that after doing a year and here that they, that they could do another year with us as well. So that's, that's handy. We have the level six here as well that people can progress on to as well. Yes. Um, just in terms of learner services, so um, we have free parking, we have, a, we have a cafe on site, every student gets ID cards, we have career guidance and counselling services, we have disability support for anyone that feels that they may need some extra support. There's an active student council and also then we have the Erasmus Plus programme. So Sandra, this is something you're involved in as well. So this is a good opportunity for people to get experience abroad and it's fully funded through the EU. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So it said, so this is instead you can do your two weeks work experience abroad instead of staying here kind of in Ireland. And as John, as you said, as I said, giving them an opportunity to go away. Sometimes we would have people, it might be their first time abroad or haven't been abroad in the last couple of years. Others might have been mothers who kind of are going away maybe for the first time without their kids and kind of and just giving themselves a, a different kind of opportunity and then just seeing what it is like to work um abroad in in the said um area so again whether it be the medical or the business sector excellent so another good opportunity excellent. so for fees and grant opportunities uh, all that information is available on our website at mallowcollege.ie forward slash funding so all our courses are open to suzy vitas back to education allowance if you are if those are applicable to you and um, so again to to get information on this course or any other of our courses head to mallowcampus.ie